In this video, we are going to look at creating an append records query. An append records query takes information out of one table and appends it or adds it to another table. To see what this means, if we look at the tables we've got in this database, we've got a, a list of customer details and we've also got a list of prospective customers. Now you can imagine with these prospective companies, perhaps you've phoned round them and they've agreed to be a customer. So we want to add the details of these some of these prospective customers to the actual customers. Rather than have to type it in again, we can create an append query. So let's imagine your sales rep has just phoned round all the companies in Durham. There's two on this prospective customers list and we want to append those to be real customers. The starting point is not with the table, it's with a query. So we select the queries objects and create a new query in design view. We add in the table that we want to work with, which is the prospective customers table, and close down the show table dialog box. Always remember you can get that dialog box back by clicking on the show table icon. Okay, so let's select the fields we want to work with. Now I want to work with all the fields here, so I'm just going to quickly add them all. And then we've got to filter this or add a criteria to say it's just the customers in Durham. So we'll find the county field. There it is. And in the criteria box, we're going to put in Durham. And then just check that the query is coming along how we expect it. Let's just check we're going to get those records that we expect to. Yes, two customers in Durham. So we're going to convert these and add this information into the existing customers table. Switch back into design view. To convert this query into an append query, we use the query type dialog uh, icon and drop down to append query. Now, you won't know this, but I've just had a fun half an hour because this next step didn't work. What we do at this stage is to choose which table we want to append this information to. Now, obviously, in this query, I want to append it to the customer details table that I've already mentioned. When I first did this half an hour ago, when I clicked on the drop down menu, the customer details table didn't exist. It wasn't there in my list. Um, and what I've had to do is rename the table to Z customer details. Now, the reason for this, and this is why I've had a fun half hour trying to track down what happened there, because obviously this is supposed to show every table that's in your database. Um, Microsoft have released a patch for Office 2003, um, and it's the SP3 patch. Unfortunately, this patch itself has brought an error into access that stops it from showing the first table in this drop-down list. Now, my first table, originally this was called Customer Details. So when I selected the drop-down menu, Customer Details being the first one in the list didn't appear. So I've renamed it to Z Customer Details and then it appears. Obviously, you wouldn't want to do that if you've already got your database set up. So I'm just alerting you to the fact that if you can't find the table there that you require when you're creating your append query, and it seems to be limited to append, um, it's due to a Microsoft patch. They may well have fixed it again by the time you try this. Um, if not, have a look on the Microsoft website. There is a hot fix patch to sort this out. 
I haven't tried it because hot fixes are not necessarily that stable. So back to where we were, we're creating an append query and we choose the table we want to append this information to from the list, customer details. Incidentally, notice that you can append it to a table in another database. Well, we're sticking with the current database. We click on OK. And again, notice that the grid has now changed. It now says append to. And if we look across at each field, we can see what, what is going to happen. The field customer ref from our prospective customers table customer ref if I click on the drop down we can see that field there in more detail so customer ref is going to be the information in that record is going to be appended to the customer ref field in the table that I selected when I switched to the append table now then going across the title information will be appended to the title field in the new table that's all very well if you've got an exact mass match of field names. But you don't have to. If you use different field names, you can just choose the field that you want to from this list. To show what that means, we've got the postcode information from prospective customers, but it hasn't picked up where to append it to. So we've got to manually choose that. Clicking on the drop down list, I'm choosing the field from the table that I want to append to and you can see that's postcode but it's postcode with a space so because there's a space there it didn't pick it up you can manually choose whichever field you want to append this information to there's another one status now status isn't in my table that I want to append it to at all so I'm actually going to choose to delete that field I don't want to use it so I can just select the column using the, the black arrow and then just delete. And then that information won't be appended, which also means that if you choose not to append the postcode, you could delete that field as well. So you don't have to use all the fields. You can just use the fields that you want. So we've created a simple query added the fields that we want to work with, added a criteria to select just the fields that we want. We've then converted it to an append query and the computer picked up which fields were going to be matched to which. But we then looked at the fact that we can manually adjust that as well. You would then save your query in the usual fashion. And you can run it in the usual fashion. I'm going to run mine from within the query. And it just gives us a little warning. We're going to append two rows to the new table. We say yes. And that should be it. So if we go and have a look at our tables, we can see the customer details table now has two new records from Durham. The information from the, in this instance, the prospective customers is still there. That hasn't changed. But you could use a delete query to get rid of those. So that is an append query used to append information from one table to another. You create a normal simple query Choose the table that you want to work with. Add in the fields that you want to work with and any criteria. Convert it to an append query. Tell it which table you want to append to. And then run the query. Append queries.